Sky Girls, welcome to Stay True Powered by Sky Girl Z, a community of teen girls who stay true to themselves. I'm your host, Abigail, and my thing is dancing, singing, and eating, and what's not my thing is sports and smoking. Now, we are still in the month of love. And Sky Girls is all about celebrating self-love and self-care. It's very important that you take care of yourself. Read all about self-love in the latest issue of the Sky Magazine, which you can read on our website. Today's episode is all fun and empowerment. We sit down with champion boxer Catherine Peary and we put social media influencer Nyemba in the ring herself. We start off with some fun as we put our game time teams to a musical challenge. Let's check it out. Welcome back to another exciting episode of Game Time. I'm your host, Tafara, and I have my two amazing teams here with me. Teams, what's up? Hi. <laughs> this week on Game Time, we are playing... Guess the Tune. Here are the rules. So each team gets five seconds to guess the tune, and the team with the most songs guessed gets to win this. That's gonna be our team, let's go. Please shut up, please shut up. I'm the only one winning this game, so let's get right into it. And the first song you guys are guessing is... <laughs> Beyonce, cuff it. Yes, yes. So the song is actually by... I feel like falling in love. Hey, I didn't know that, I don't listen to Beyonce. I didn't know that. The next song is... I got it first, I got it first, I got it first, I got it first. Uh, Vlad Samaritan, uh, Aristar. Come on! Yeah? Uh, that's, that's, yeah? That's my wife, by the way. So let's see if you guys can guess the it's next like that, right? song, <laughs> which is... Money. Oh. Me! Let's go, that was let's too go, quick. Let's that go, let's go, let's go. That go. was too quick. But we got it. We got it. Let's go, let's go. Let's go Taylor, Taylor Swift, Blunt Space. Yes. Yeah. Let's get it, let's get it, let's get it. Nice to meet you, where you been? I could show you, we could have more things. Let's see if these guys are actually right. So here's the title of the song. And I'll write your name. Guys, put your O in this, because this is the last one. Yeah. Nice. Nice, nice. Sound guys and <laughs> Listen to this, yeah? Rema's my brother. <laughs> so guys, looks like this round, everybody got answers correct. Congratulations, team. We'll see you in another episode of Game Time. From me and my team, it's bye! -bye. Okay, you can tell music is their thing. They just heard one beat and they knew the song. How well did you guys do guessing the songs? Next up, Susie sits with one of Zambia's most celebrated sportswomen, Catherine Peary. In Becoming That Girl, Catherine Peary shares some great insights into the importance of believing in yourself. And if that isn't self-love, then I don't know what is. Let's check it out. Hey Sky Babes, welcome to Becoming That Girl where we take a deep dive into the life of some of our faves to see how they grew into the incredible women they are today. Today we're joined by the amazing Catherine Peary. Hi, Catherine. Hi. Thank you so much for joining us today. You're most welcome. Catherine Peary is a Zambian professional boxer whose boxing career has spanned more than 10 years. She boasts a record of 16 wins in 20 fights with 10 knockouts. From 2016 to 17, she held the WBC female bantamweight title, solidifying her status as a formidable force in the ring. So the first question is, what initially inspired you to pursue a career in boxing? So what inspired me to take up uh, boxing as my career is because boxing is a, an individual sport. Mm. It's different from football, whereby you are living in the pitch. Mm. Uh, you can depend on your friend even if you are not fit. But boxing, it takes one to be fit and to be ready for a fight. Yeah. Mm. If we bring the topic of gender equality into our conversation, we'd see that a long time ago, women weren't allowed to take part in sports like boxing or sports in general. Yeah. So what made you pursue a career in boxing despite gender inequality and other circumstances? 
Yeah, a long time uh, before uh, uh, sports was made for, for a man. Mm. So for me, I decided to take up uh, sports in general, like boxing, mm. to inspire other women who feel like, no, boxing is only for, for a man. Mm. And uh, to bring that uh, equality thing to, to say that, no, both men and women can take up uh, sports, uh, uh, boxing. Yeah, it's not only meant for, for a man. Oh, definitely, because if I were to tell you that you are one of the women that inspired me to actually take part in martial arts, then... Believe me, <laughs> um, wow. did you find yourself in any situations where you felt like you would want to give up? Yes, of course. You know, in anything, I believe that there, there are some challenges whereby you feel like, you know, I, can, I, I, I feel like giving up. So sometimes when I face such kind of challenges, I would just tell myself, say, no, um, encourage myself, say, no, you're determined. You can achieve anything that you want to achieve as long as you're determined. Definitely. So that helped me a lot to achieve what I wanted in my career. Mm. So winning the WBC Bantamweight title in 2016 was a groundbreaking achievement. Um, can you share a moment from that journey that might inspire the girls that are watching? Yeah, so I remember when I was going for that fight, mm. that was in 2016, yes. and I was also writing my grade 12. Uh, grade 12. Mm. Yeah, so I was doing both training and, and, uh, school. and school. So that was a challenge. At some point, I even gave up uh, because after after winning the title, mm. I was like, ah, I won't manage to, to write my mm. final exam. Exams. Yeah, but with the encouragement for, from my uh, promoters and everybody who was surrounding me, mm -hmm. they encouraged me a lot to to pursue my my academic. Mm. But uh, going for that title again, it was very challenging. Mm. I remember I was in Mexico. So when I was seated in the uh, dressing room, we were sharing the dressing room with uh, the German lady. Uh -huh. She was like, no, this boxer you're fighting, she's a very good boxer. Mm. She has um, uh, defended her title five times. Mm. And then I kept quiet. <laughs> I was like, I just kept quiet for a while and then I was like, ah, I think um, me, I'm a different boxer and yes. I'm here, I'm, I'm here for business. Mm -hmm. It's either I die here or oh, I go with the title. The home. <laughs> yeah. So the last and final question might be interesting for me personally. Okay. So what are the five tips that you would give a girl to becoming Catherine Peary? Well, uh, the five tips that I would give to a girl who wants to be successful, who wants to be like me, is mm. just um, determination, mm. focus, discipline. Yeah, I would say three. Mm. These these three things play a vital role in somebody to be successful. Once you are disciplined, mm. you, you can achieve anything that you want to achieve in life. Well, thank you so much, Kathy, for joining us today. Yeah. I have learned so much from you and I can't wait to implement what I have learned from you. You're most welcome and thank you for hosting me. <laughs> You're welcome. And to the Sky Goes watching, remember you can watch the full interview on the Sky Goes YouTube channel. And from me, it's bye-bye. See you guys next time. I definitely want to hear more about Catherine Peary's journey, so make sure to watch the full interview on our YouTube channel at Sky Goes Z. Remember, we learn and grow from hearing from the women who came before us. It helps us to remember that we can achieve anything that we put our minds to. And as Catherine Peary said, discipline and focus takes us a long way. I read somewhere that Oprah Winfrey, one of the richest and most successful black women in the world, said that you learn what you like from doing the things that you don't like. This is one of the reasons why we ask different personalities to try out different things. Today, we ask our favorite influencer, Nyemba, to step into the ring and learn mixed martial arts with one of Zambia's National Amateur League fighters, Zen Dijon. Let's check it out. It's actually really necessary for me to put my Crocs in sports mode so that they don't slip off my feet and I can maintain my stance in the ring. Hey guys, I'm Nyemba. I'm going to be trying MMA for the first time today. I'm super excited. Like, I actually can't wait to do this. So let's go. So we're going to start with basic one, two stance, and then we'll get into wrestling. Okay? okay? Cool. All right. So first and foremost, let's get a stance, right? So I want you to step forward with your left leg. Okay. Right. Perfect. Right? Like this. Right? Okay. First thing we're starting off with is a simple one, two, jab and cross, right? And then from there we're building. It is quite easy to learn the stance position. As he said, we're doing basics first. I'll teach you how to jab, all right? Jab, we're going to step our front foot forward and just move our hand forward as well, right? Keeping our shoulder next to our chin, okay? 
What is a one, two, or a jab and cross? So basically your jab sets up your cross, right? Your jab is your weaker hand, you know, finding distance, finding range, and then you're going through with your cross, your power hand, right? So here we are tight, right? And just step forward with that jab. Perfect. Okay, cool. Natural, yeah. right? <laughs> okay. It feels really cool to be learning the jab and cross because it's something I see all the time when watching fights, and for me to be learning it right now is super, super cool. I feel, like, empowered. Okay, so let's do it one, two, just one after the other. One, two, right? Boom, okay? There you go. So we're about to go into wrestling some takedowns off of that jab and cross, okay? Honestly, that was really good. Oh, I think, really good. thanks, thanks. Yeah? <laughs> You've learned striking, basically, right? Mm -hmm. Now we're gonna add a takedown into it, okay? Okay. So I'll teach you the takedown first, and then we're gonna combine the two, okay? Okay. So I'm gonna be the one being taken down. <laughs> for demonstrative purposes, <laughs> right? Okay, so we're gonna step our right leg yeah. forward. So it's called a penetration step, okay? Mm -hmm. So I'm penetrating here, right? Okay. Right, I'm gonna bring my hips down mm -hmm. here and then put my knee on the ground, yeah. okay? While I'm down here, my head is gonna be like on your abdomen, yeah. okay? My, my one hand is holding your knee, my other hand is gonna hold your ankle, okay? Right. So here we are, and then I'm gonna drive through this direction. <laughs> It's not that painful to be taken down, but given that he was taking me down gently and not like it would be in an actual fight, but I guess in an actual fight, because there's a lot more force that's used, it could potentially be painful. So I'm here, I'm coming in, and I'm coming to this position yeah. and just driving, okay? okay? Cool. Penetration step, and then put your knee on the ground, but don't slam it, just put it down nicely. Okay. Perfect, right? There's this knee on the ground as well. That knee's coming up here in a second. Right? Okay. So this hand here yeah. is gonna grab my knee. Okay. This hand here grabs the ankle, right? Okay. And you're gonna pull the ankle, okay? okay? While you're pushing me with your upper body, right? Okay. So push me this very Oh, right? I got it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's high key nerve wracking to yeah, be the one taking him down, but I, I'm getting my, my shot back, yeah. Penetration step, knee to the ground. My <laughs> bad, my bad, my yeah. bad. <laughs> I'll do it side by side. Okay, with you. cool. Here we are. So jab, jab cross, cross, knee, and penetration step. Okay. There we go. Okay. I mixed it to actually. Oh my goodness, I'm so tired, but that was such a good workout. I really, really enjoyed myself. And one thing about me, I'm always willing to try something new, so yay to that. If you want to learn some moves like Nyemba, we do have a series of moves that Zay showed us to help Sky Girls with some self-defense, but also help us to feel a little bit more empowered knowing that we can protect ourselves. So check that out on our YouTube channel for that playlist. I can't believe we've already come to the end of another episode. I was having so much fun and I hope you guys had fun too. Like and follow us on all our social media platforms. And remember, you can watch the extended versions of all our segments on our YouTube channel at SkyGirlZ. Tell us what you're loving so far. And if you haven't taken the pledge, don't forget to do so so that you can join our exclusive community for teen girls. Once you take the pledge, you're a Sky Girl. You can take the pledge on our Facebook page or website. Once you take the pledge, you get this cool wristband to show that you're part of the Sky community. A Sky girl is someone who has chosen not to smoke. We know what our thing is and what's not our thing so that we don't bend into peer pressure and we stay true to ourselves. Tell your friends about Sky too and let's keep growing the community. I need to go, but happy Valentine's in advance. Remember to show yourself love, be your own Valentine's, but also remember your friends and celebrate Valentine's with them. Until next time, bye. I pledge to be true to myself and what I believe in. I will trust my choices and I will not let anyone else determine who I am. Success, making friends and dancing, that's my thing. Jealousy, gossip and smoking, that's not my thing. I will make choices according to my character. I will rise to meet my sky. Nothing will get in my way, I'm a stopper boy, I'm a stopper boy, I'm a stopper boy, I'm a